Hi everyone, welcome to the first NLP Journal Club, a place where we're going to be breaking down some of the latest in NLP research. Today we're looking at a paper called Pegasus, pre-training with extracted gap sentences for obstructive summarization, written by a bunch of guys from the Google Brain team and from Imperial College in London. The paper came out just a few weeks ago around Christmas time. So let's get into it. The goal, the paper is about obstructive text summarization, where the goal is given that you have an import article, for example, coming from a newspaper. The goal is to generate a reduced version of that article that synthesizes the key information. And the emphasis is on generate. So we're not going to be just selecting content from the input article, but we're going to be, we're going to be generating a new summary word by word. And the most popular approach to do this in the last years has been uh, based on the encoder-decoder architecture, where you have three components represented by neural networks. You have an encoder, E, which processes the input sequence X from X1 to XTX. So uh, X is basically the words of the article from 1 to TX, where TX is the last word. And this encoder, E, is processing this word sequence word by word producing a sequence of hidden representations then you also have a decoder d which uses the information produced by the decoder um, to generate the output summary word by word uh, from y1 to yty um, until do we have to stop and this is based on a decoder d uh, network uh, and the way the two are linked, the encoder and the decoder, is using a context C. So this context is an, can be another neural network which is extracting some or a mixture of all of the encoded representations and uh, passing them on to the decoder as necessary, um, allowing the decoder to, for example, to refer to different parts of the input article. And here we have a formula of how this looks mathematically. So you're trying to, to uh, find the most probable output summary y. Um, um, and this is modeled as what is the best probability of the output summary y given the input article x and model parameters theta. And this is typically decomposed as the probability of the current word i given the previously generated words from y0 to yi minus 1, uh, the input article and theta. So moving on to the specific paper we're looking at today, um, which is about self-supervised pre-training objectives for obstructive summarization. Um, here we have a bunch of different uh, types of pre-training objectives that have been all pretty popular in the last months. Um, and those objectives are used to, so you, you take a big chunk of, a big data set of text and you can use your pre-training objectives um, to kind of pre-train your encoder-decoder architecture as follows here, um, and to, to have it in a good starting position, such that then when you train on a bunch of articles and summaries, you're a good starting point, and then your, uh, your architecture can learn much better. So in last, last years, um, there has been a number of very popular pre-training objectives. Here, here in this table, you have um, seven of them, uh, which are uh, coming from this paper, um, the uh, Exploring the Limits of Transfer Learning, which was public o published also a few months ago. Um, so for example, one objective is, uh, is to, to split the text into prefix and suffix. So given that you have a sentence like, thank you for inviting, you're given this as an input to the network and you want the network to predict the target, which is me to your party last week. Or another one which has been proposed in the BERT paper is to mask words from the sentence. Uh, for example, um, masking for inviting um, and inputting the whole sentence and asking your network to predict the original text like thank you for inviting me to a party uh, oh and also here sometimes they are inserting some noise 
um, into the sentence. You could also sharp shuffle the words or you could um, think of different like types of noise you can apply to this text. And basically the basic idea is you're inputting some corrupted text and you want your network to generate um, the missing part or the original text. And this actually seems to be very effective as a pre-training objective to, for a number of sequence tasks, including abstractive summarization. And in this paper, um, they're proposing a new self-supervised pre-training objective based on gap sentences. So the basic idea is given that you have uh, an import article like uh, Pegasus is mythical, it is pure white, it names the model. Let's say this is the article that you want to summarize. What they're doing in this paper is they are picking sentences from the article. For example, the second one, it is pure white. And then they are removing that sentence. And then they are trying to predict that sentence using their uh, encoder decoder model. Um, so given the missing sentence, like Pegasus is mythical, it names the model. They try to predict the missing sentence. It is pure white. And they show that this seems to work very well for this uh, task summarization. And actually for an architecture, they're using a standard decoder decoder model, um, the transformer. So the authors explore a number of different strategies for selecting these gap sentences, such as picking the picking M sentences randomly. Um, basically, let's say two sentences from the article and deleting them and asking, uh, asking the network to predict them or picking the first M sentences or they propose a special strategy uh, called principle, which picks top M sentences according to their importance. So um, and the way they pick importance is they compute some sort of an overlap metric of the document to each sentence to try to determine how important a sentence is with respect to the document as a whole. And they try to pick uh, maximum, maximally important sentences. So moving on to some data sets and some experiments. They use a number of large scale data sets for pre training, including the C4, um, which was introduced last year. It contains about 350 million web pages uh, or 750 gigabytes of text, or the huge news data set containing 1.5 billion news articles. They test, uh, they pre train a bunch of models and they test them on, on 12 different obstructive summarization data sets from different domains, including news, science stories and so on. And uh, if we go into some results, what you can see um, here, we have the results on those 12 data sets. Um, on the, the top part, you have the news article data sets and on the bottom part, the other ones. And um, we have a bunch of baselines like the transformer uh, model trained you know, without pre-training at all, like just training on these data sets. And then you have the uh, two versions of this Pegasus model, uh, the base one, which is um, having the same number of parameters as, as the transformer base and a large one, uh, which is slightly bigger. And you also have uh, some state of the art results from the literature. And basically one bottom line is this pre-training objective seems to be helpful for summarization uh, leading to better improve results uh, on all of these summarization benchmarks pretty much um, compared to the baseline without pre-training, first of all, and uh, also given a nice improvement over the baseline, which, um, oh, sorry, so this is with pre-training with a smaller model. And so the base one um, with pre-training is improving over the base baseline without pre-training um, on all these data sets or most of them. For example, here you can see that you actually, uh, sometimes you're getting a bit less, um, but over the majority of those, you're getting a big improvement. And even with a large model, you seem to be getting a bigger improvement over the state of the art, or maybe a few points here and there, not on all data sets, for example, on the CNN Daily Mail, which is a pretty popular benchmark, um, you're getting a pretty similar result compared to the state of the art. 
And one interesting pattern that you can see here is that um, I said that they, they're pre-training on two different data sets. The C4 is um, web pages and huge news is news articles. And uh, as expected, pre-training on news articles seems to work more effectively for the summarization tasks, which are focusing on news articles and the rest for the web pages seems to work better for the other ones for some reason. Here we have some also some comparison of uh, with some previous pre-training objectives for summarization. A couple of more recent ones are this BART objective, which is also corrupting the input text in different ways, like um, shuffling or um, also deleting. And some this T5 is from this from this table that I was talking about. And actually, what you can see is here they compare on these three data sets is this Pegasus large compared to this BART or this T5 and so on. Actually, the difference is not huge. It seems that it is better a little bit, but um, for example, with BART, it's not so huge on the CNN Daily Mail, for instance, on this uh, X sum data set is a bit better or a bit larger difference. Um, and compared to like this standard, more, more older ones, I think those are uh, from like one year ago or so, there you are getting a little bit better uh, scores in comparison to those. One interesting result of the paper is on low resource summarization, uh, which is a particular challenge for uh, obstructive summarization and other sequence models and tasks. We actually have a very limited amount of parallel data. So the less, um, the, the more techniques that we have that are capable of summarizing with less parallel data, the better. And um, what you can do actually, what is shown on this plot here is the root scores of this, um, uh, this Pegasus approach using a different number of training pairs, uh, parallel training pairs after pre-training. So you pre-train and then you train on additional um, pairs of articles and summaries using zero or which is zero shot or 10 or 100 or 1000 and so on. And here we have the Rouge scores um, in field lines with this Pegasus approach and in this uh, other lines which are um, having gaps you have the baseline, which is trained on the full part of data set of about 300,000 uh, articles and summaries from the CNN and Daily Mail data set. And what you can see is that even with, with only with 100 um, pairs of articles and summaries trained, you're getting a better result. Um, you are performing this data set that has been trained on 300,000 articles and summaries, which is a really nice result. With 1,000 and 10,000, you're getting even better. So this is a great result, I find, because it shows that using these pre-training objectives, you can really get away, um, you can save a lot in terms of parallel data. So this is pretty exciting. So to sum up some key takeaways, the authors propose a new self-supervised pre-training objective for summarization, as well as potentially, of course, for other related tasks in text generation. The objective is based on predicting missing sentences from the article. The new pre-training objective leads to improved performance over baselines trained directly on downstream summarization datasets, as well as over alternative pre-training objectives. And it works particularly well for low resource summarization where you get pretty good results with as few as 1000 parallel examples. Uh, and so this is pretty great. And I would like to thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for some more upcoming content in other NLP areas as well as in summarization. Thank you.